in the last week or so there has been a lot of talk about lpus versus gpus this all started with grok and which is a pioneering tech company and at the forefront of this lpu revolutions these lpus are engineered to turbocharge infra tasks particularly for llms and beyond i have done another video on grok as and what exactly it does in detail so please check out the channel but the purpose of this video is to explain it in very simple words what exactly is a gpu and lpu and what is the difference between these two technologies both gpus and lpus are specialized processors designed to accelerate computationally demanding task but they have key differences in their architecture strength and best use cases let's start with gpu the original purpose of gpu is that it was designed primarily to handle the massive parallel computations needed for real time graphics rendering in games and video processing the architecture of gpu is also different it is composed of thousands of smaller simpler cores optimized for parallel processing of many similar instructions at once or in other words simd single instruction multiple data it also relies on external memory which is all often gddr ram for data storage the strengths of gpus are quite a lot it is excellent at highly parallelizable task especially those involving floating point calculations like fp16 and fp32 it has a mature technology with a wide software ecosystem it is versatile it is used in gaming video editing scientific simulations and also various ai workloads but at the same time gpu has its weaknesses it can be inefficient for processing irregular workloads that don't fit in the simd model well the data transfer between the gpu and external memory can create performance bottlenecks especially if you are in a distributed decentralized environment now let's see what exactly is lpu lpu stands for large scale processing unit lpus were designed specifically for large scale ai workloads particularly those related to natural language processing the architecture of lpu is also quite fant uh, fantastic it has fewer much larger cores designed for deterministic execution that ensures consistent results every time also large amounts of on die memory or sram to minimize the need for external memory access makes it really cool it also often includes specialized hardware for matrix multiplication and other common ai operation there are also various strengths of this lpu it is highly efficient for llms and other ai tasks that benefit from deterministic execution it has minimal latency due to on die memory it can achieve superior performance per watt compared to gpus in ai workloads but as is the case with gpus lpu comes with its own weaknesses it is less mature technology than gpu and it's not as versatile for task outside its core focus on ai acceleration now if you want to choose between gpu and lpu the choice is bit hard and depends heavily on your specific use case if your primary focus is on accelerating large scale ai models and particularly those used for language processing or text based ones lpus can offer significant advantage hands down in performance and efficiency but if your purpose is more graphic oriented even with ai scientific computing gaming or smaller ai models GPUs are likely still the more accessible and flexible options. In my humble opinion, I think if you are dealing with very very large models like 70 billion and above, then and those are more geared toward text to text conversion or natural language sort of thing, then go with LPUs. For everything else, go with GPUs. And I'm just talking about now what happens tomorrow no one knows because it is evolving very very rapidly anyway i hope that this was useful if you have any comment thoughts or if you want to add anything please share it in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and do me a favor if you are already subscribed then share the video and the channel 
among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.